It's breaking right now. A mom accused of murder found guilty. Moments ago, a jury deciding Rebecca Hogue knew her son was being abused by her then boyfriend. It is a claim the boyfriend denied three days after Ryder died. Christopher Trent hanged himself in the Wichita Wildlife Refuge. News Force Bria Barry is live in Norman. She's been covering this trial from the beginning. The jury only out for a few hours here, Bria. Well, that's right, Kevin. The jury went in around 3 o'clock this evening, coming back about 15 minutes ago. Uh, Rebecca Hogue found guilty on first-degree murder charges. Now, here's what happened earlier today in court. Closing arguments now done in the Rebecca Hogue trial. The mother facing a first-degree murder charge, accused of enabling child abuse in her son's death. Can you feel or hear any breathing? No, he's dead. Hogue claiming her son, Ryder Johnson, was dead as she touched his cold body on January 1st, 2020. He was unresponsive and had bruises all over his body. Ryder's cause of death, blunt force trauma. The primary suspect, Hogue's boyfriend, Christopher Trent. He hanged himself three days after Ryder died. Now, closing arguments taking place in Hogue's eight-day trial. Prosecutors once again telling the jury Hogue had to have known Ryder was being abused. They say she was concerned, and that's why she took photos of Ryder's cuts and bruises and confronted Trent with the pictures. Prosecutors say she even reviewed articles about symptoms and signs of child abuse and neglect. However, the defense saying the state failed to prove when the bruises happened and cannot prove Hogue was concerned about Ryder's bruises. The defense saying Hogue believed Trent's claims about Ryder falling because he was a very active kid who got into everything. And she trusted Trent's judgment because he has two kids of his own. The defense says Trent will send Hogue pictures of Ryder while she was working, and the toddler was happy. They say Trent gaslighted her every time she brought up Ryder's bruises. The state said Trent may have been the abuser, but Hogue was the gatekeeper. Prosecutors say Hogue made a choice to put Ryder in Trent's care despite her concerns. A Hogue's family and attorney all emotional as they watch Rebecca being carried away in handcuffs. Very emotional day in court today. We're live in Norman, Bria Berry, Oklahoma's News 4. Thank you, Bria.